I picked up this farm girl plaque. It kind of looks like an old farm door from Michael's. It was on 75% off. I believe I got it for like $3. There was quite a bit there. If anybody wants to see if they could actually grab this particular thing, this particular item. Uh, I think the biggest thing I want to show you is how you have to put a different mindset on when you walk into these stores and when you go into the clearance aisle, there's great platforms to work with. Um, this said farm girl, but we're going to cover that. I started with the wise owl white primer. This is going to really block all that wording. And then I did go ahead and use some snow owl and gave that a full coat and then allowed that to dry. Once dry, I'm gonna do this really simple. I took some black paint and just painted the surface of this raised farm truck. Once that was done, I allowed that to dry. Today I'm be working with uh, Redesigned by Prima Stamps. You can find these at chocolateafancy.com. I don't work with stamps often, but they are a lot of fun. Um, the lettering, this is the way I do it, guys. Don't judge me. I am not a professional stamper. I know there's a lot of these out there. This is the way that I do it. Um, I lay out my letters. There's only one L in the package, so I'm going to have to do the second one after the fact. And then I take, uh, here I took like a clear baggie. It's it's like a, a little heavier duty little clear baggie and, and uh, it has and laid it on the sticky side and flipped it over. And now I'm going to take the black ink and just brush it along the tops of the letters and ink up by stamps. The ink is at chocolateofancy.com as well. I just flip it over, lay it down. And then my second L I just place with my fingers. And you could do it all just by placing. I just can never get them straight. So I just wanted to get them as straight as possible. I'm going to hit this with a blow dryer. And I just use a baby wipe to do the first cleaning of my stamps so the ink doesn't dry. And then I do take them and wash them under soap and water. I'm going to wrap some jute around the top of this board. I wrapped it around several times and tied a knot. I found this garland at Hobby Lobby. It was like, it was on sale too. It was $4 on sale. You can find these in the party section. And I just grabbed them and I used the strips as my ribbon on different projects. Uh, there's quite a bit there. And I just made a bow. And then I found this little wooden leaf from the Dollar Tree that I placed in the center. And there you go. Now you have this really cute farmhouse plaque that we made out of uh, clearance items. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chocolateatfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfer, or mesh stencils, chocolateatfancy.com.